Hello folks, how you doing? And in this video, we're going to cover the uh, flow test. Now, I've been really busy the last couple days, I haven't had time to get around to it, but I've filled the tanks up, I left a little bit of space on each one, I've filled the barrels up, and uh, we're ready to engage the pump, check for leaks, and see if this works. So, let's go and plug that in. Head over here, got everything set up. This is the plug. We're gonna plug it in right here. And we have flow. Here we go. This will take a minute. I only put a 430 gallon per hour uh, pump in. Figured 800 might be pushing it. It's gonna, 430 gallons an hour should be good. Considering the whole system is uh, a little more than half that. So, this, uh, this is basically a huge sump system that I'm making. And uh, once we get past this flow test, I'm gonna let this run all day, make sure I don't get an overflow or jam up or an airlock or something weird and unexpected. So here we go. We are building up. We are heading to the overflow. Here's the overflow line. Already hear a slight trickle. It's leaking in those little seams there. I didn't really seal that out because it's no, no, not needed. And uh, here we go. It is entering. I've already checked these seams and they're all good down here because the water's already up high on those. And we have no leaks. It should be re. Yeah, there we go. We can hear the flow entering the tube. And start to hear the trickle here. See if we can get you to hear it. And hear this trickle. That little bin will fill a little bit. And it comes down into here. And it comes up through here. And we're starting to see a little bit now. This should, uh, should turn into a considerable flow. Looks like it's going to work. So the barrels have to, have to fill up a little bit before we get full flow. Let's see what we got up here. That's looking good. There's lots of space. It's not overfilling. The, the rate is good for the size of the pipe. That should be as high as this tank will get. Which is actually where I like it. Nice and high. We're doing good. And back down here now, the flow is uh, increasing. It's starting to look, uh, it's not quite as full as it's uh, meant to be. But it will uh, increase as the minutes go on here. There you go, you can see the system took up some water from down here. And it probably took up about, I'd say about this much water before we got to what looks like full flow. So that's how much I'll have to keep it down. I'll bring it up a little bit and we'll keep this tank down in case we have power outage so we don't get an overflow just like you would with any other sump. And that's the system. 
that's how she runs so next step is uh, gravel mix of gravel and sand for each tank filtration get some hang on backs and uh, some uh, UVs I'll put one UV in each tank and uh, then we'll start getting in the beneficial bacteria in the prime and we're gonna let this roll for a couple weeks with the environment build up I got to get a whole bunch of spot probably spend like a hundred two hundred dollars in pot scrubbies and I gotta get some lava rock there's 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 some good money to be spent still and uh, the room wasn't built in a day but this is gonna be it's gonna be an incredible system when it's done and it's gonna house some very happy fish so there it is and then I got a lot of woodwork to do so it's a big project but it's coming along nicely Thanks for tuning in. Please consider subscribing because there's a lot more to come. And uh, it's going to be a very interesting summer. I'll get prepared for a, uh, a good winter with uh, lots of fishies to care for in the cold months. Uh, I hope you have a great day.